How's it going? How you doing? Can I take your picture? It, it looks like some Robin shit, but... Yeah, okay. People normally use it for um, snow blowing. Well, snow actually... Snow blowing. Yeah, they're, normally they're orange. Blowing dick! This train is so empty. I'm like there's only one person in the car that I'm riding in. They're like way down there. It's the market. You can't drive. You have to take the train. You have to get there. You have to walk. You have to immerse yourself in your surroundings. That's just how it's done. Now just because you you go out to take photos doesn't mean that you're gonna there's no way to ensure that you're gonna get a photo that you love. You just go out and you do it and you enjoy the process. I'm at 9th and Market Center City. Um, it's pretty busy here. Even for a cold day. There's a lot going on but nothing Nothing catches my fancy yet, except this bike right here. It's a yellow bike, orange fire extinguisher. Colors don't really go together. But let's shoot it. There's some little birds here eating bread. The sidewalk is nice and empty. It's not a great shot, but I'm just letting you know what's in my brain. Um, let's see, we got this, we got this really fat fire extinguisher here with three valves on the top of it. It's not that cool, but it, it caught my eye. I'll show you. Paper. Everybody knows that the train ticket machine spits out Susan B. Anthony's as change. Susan B's, it ain't much, man. Can I take your picture? Just, just my YouTube channel. Yeah. Just gang shit, boy. It, it looks like some Robin shit, but. Yeah, okay. People normally use it for um, snow blowing. Well, snow actually. Snow blowing. Yeah, they're, normally they're orange. Blowing dick. Sometimes uh, you can just ask somebody. I had a pocket full of Susan B's and, you know, gave him some. I figured he'd let me get a photo. He was hard to, uh, he didn't stand still, so, so. There we go, right there, that's an easy one. You see that the guy walked in front of, uh, he walked in front of the, my shot right in the middle of the road, I took it. Right when, like, the decisive moment happened. See, something like this sign behind me, like, you could either wait till there's no cars and stand in the middle of the road and get, like, a perfectly symmetrical, low-light sunset shot. You make it perfect, even though there's probably tons of that on Google Images. Or you could just take what you can get, how you see it, and move on. Behind me, there's a... There's a store selling like roasted duck hanging up. I'm gonna try to shoot in between the roasted duck and get the guy's face behind him. Hopefully he doesn't really care too much. Not only was he cool with it, he, he actually posed for it. So that works out. See, all, all you gotta do is just take a chance. Live a little. Sometimes the key to street photography is just not moving too fast, lingering a little bit, not looking like you just showed up, snapped and walked away. Unless that's what it takes. But sometimes you just gotta kinda hang out. It is 
really hard to talk to somebody for the first time, you know, interact, switch your camera from video to photo, get the settings right, <laughs> all while your hands are so cold, they're, they're falling off. Across the street we have a produce market. I lingered outside there for a very long time. Oh, let's see if I get this. There's another market behind me. It's it's a little more open. I'm gonna try to maybe go in there and warm my hands up a little bit. And then uh, maybe I can get some other shots in the market. I'm tempted to take the Gorilla Pod off and the microphone off and see if I can get, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe some photos a little more discreetly than, than having it rigged up for video. <laughs> whoa, whoa, these these two girls back here were eating these pork buns. I asked them what they were. I didn't get it recorded. I should have left it rolling so you could hear the combo. I said, what are those? They said, they're pork buns. They're really good. You need to have one. I think they're from this guy. No more, nothing. No more? No more. Every day here. He sold out. I didn't know what was going on until it was too late. I think this place right here has the dumplings that that guy was selling. I don't know for sure. All the dumplings you could ever want. I'm hungry and I'm in Chinatown and, and this is what's happening right now. I realize this whole video is shot on this 35 millimeter. My arm's all the way stretched out. All right, let's go in here. Inside soup, okay? One that can fight dumpling, right? Mm-hmm. Susan B's from the subway. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I brought three batteries and they're all just about dead. So before this camera shuts off, let me just say thank you for watching this video and I hope I gave you some insight into how my brain works when it comes to street photography. It's, it's kind of tricky to work back and forth between video, photo, video, photo, video, photo, but thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. They're so good. They're so good. My camera's sitting on top of a trash can. It's disgusting.